were there any authors that are doing what you're doing or any authors that your kids were like, oh, wow, I want this author. There was, and I was kind of part of that movement where we were challenging the publishing industry to in, you know, ha include authors of color because with African-Americans in, I believe, 2020, less than half the books that featured ch uh, children of color were written by African-Americans. But when my kids were reading, there were not I can name maybe one or two books, one that featured African-American kids. And those books were stories of trauma, stories of, you know, people who were enslaved, sharecroppers and things like that. So it was still difficult for my kids to relate to those books. And now there's been a call for writing more books about Black joy and just showing African-Americans living their lives and not centering on trauma. And so for my kids, that's why they kind of couldn't relate because they're suburban kids. What was that actual process for you when you did the first Sophie book? So with that, I um, said I want to write a series. So I envisioned it as a series when I came up with the idea for the book. And I structured it similarly to books that my kids were reading. So they liked short chapter books. And the books that they read were about 100 pages. And they're going to have them learning different lessons in each book. And that's what I encourage people to do. If you want to write in a certain genre, like say you want to write a memoir, you should read different memoirs and study how they're struck. And then you can formulate that when you're writing your own book. So that's what I did with my Sophie Washington series. I looked at chapter books that were sim similar to what I was wanting to write.